Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm playing a game called uh, Backrooms Recovered Footage. And it's about the backrooms. The backrooms, for those that don't know, is a liminal spaces concept where you just go around your normal day and and then you fall through a random like chair or like the ground on earth, let's say. And then you just go into the backrooms. Because the backrooms is where everything is controlled from. It's like the Matrix kind of scenario. But it's more creepy than that. A lot more creepy. Because it's an endless maze of hallways with a bunch of creepy stuff in there. And, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, hop right into that. Okay, so it looks like we're looking through a camera here. So, we have some, some kind of, like, grass wall here. I don't know what that's all about, but... Restore footage seems to be the only option, so let's go ahead and restore footage. I think we're... Okay, so this is actually recovered footage from the back rooms. Let's check it out. Oh, boy. Look at this. This is very cool already. <laughs> Look at the date at the bottom. It's like glitching out. Okay, door for emergency use only. Let's, uh, let's head through it then, because this is an emergency. Oh, no, we can't head through it. Yeah, it looks like it's stuck. That's okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's see what we can find here. Yeah, this is, this is definitely, like, back rooms, liminal space type area it's basically these never-ending office like hallways and the creepy thing about it is the fact that they're never ending but there's also monsters here too oh, okay there's something here press e to touch id scanner uh, this is weird this is out of the blue kind of area little box little room anyway let's keep going because uh gotta explore So yeah, I've played a liminal game, liminal space game before, and the whole creepy part about it is you just endlessly walk through super quiet like areas, and and then you start seeing things out of the corners of your eye, just like real life. If you're in some, if you're by yourself in some abandoned building or something, or school school at night, or even your room at night, you start seeing stuff out of the corner of your eye. It's just like human nature. I'm not sure what the explanation is for that but yeah it's it's a thing it's a thing definitely so but the thing with these games though is there's actually evil uh like creepy uh, entities here too evidently i don't know what that's gonna look like in this game hopefully it's not too creepy but I'm not. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. I'm just kind of wandering around at this point. I l I really like the VHS like uh, effect over it. It is really sick. Yeah, we're just wandering at this point. Oh, there is some kind of boarded up thingy here. Maybe it's boarded up for a reason. Maybe we shouldn't. Uh, mess with it but because i have nothing else to do is there a way for me to run this bit i don't know let's just keep going because it looks like i can't do anything with it man this game is very oh what is this okay well Shoot, uh, where do I go? Damn, where do I go? I just watched this Japanese uh, horror movie recently called uh, Tag. I thought it was going to be better. I did not like the, uh, what is it called? Like the, the scenario, uh, just the way that it was filmed. It was, it's it's not, not very professionally filmed or anything, in my opinion. But aside from that, it was a pretty cool like idea, and there was this girl in there that said, uh, "Life is surreal. Like, don't worry about it." And I was like, "Yeah, I thought about that. I'm like, yeah, life is surreal. Like, it seems like you know, 
these games are surreal like art some art is surreal like uh, Salvador Dali type stuff like whoa that's so surreal no if you think about it life is surreal like just everyday our normal lives all the circumstances around our lives and everything like that that is surreal by itself so you don't even need any of that like extreme stuff like if you think about it life is insane okay so also I'm just like scroll wheel you can zoom in, in and out with it I didn't know that so uh, yeah let's just go uh, here I don't know I'm just going around there's no specific like format to where I'm supposed to go but just keep going Oh, here we go, here we go. Here's something. Press F to toggle flashlight. Oh. This doesn't look very appetizing. This is a lot worse. This is like the basement of the back rooms. Oh, axe. Okay. Uh, what am I going to need the axe for? Huh. I don't see it in my hands. Hold on, hold on. You can just get lost in here super easily. Wait. Was there a wall here before? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. What was that? Footage corrupted. Yeah, there, there's a wall there, like right here. You know, there's a wall. So, where do I go here? Footage corrupted. What does this mean? Like, like, what am I supposed to? Where am I supposed to go here? Footage corrupted. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what I'm supposed to use the axe for. Like, if I go back here, then it just says footage corrupted. Oh! Oh shoot, what is this? Like coal? That is weird. Okay. There's definitely some uh, some new additions to this area. How come I don't have my axe? Like, I grabbed it, right? I don't know how to equip my axe. That sucks. I don't have anything to defend myself with. And I feel like something's here. Something, uh... It has coal on it. I think I would just go to the other end of that room, maybe? I still didn't get any kind of, like, ID card or anything. Yeah, no ID. So let's go this way and try to see if there's any potentially, like, areas that we can go in here. And I'm not really sure if there's anything afoot here, like if there's anything out here now, like any entities, creatures, other random bullshit. Okay, the planks, I have to break them with my axe. Okay, but it's corrupted again. I try to break the planks. Okay, yay. What is this? Some office cabinet thing. Wow, this is, if you like intently look at the screen as you're playing, it's like, 
as an experience. go so is this where I go like oh, I'm stuck I think I'm stuck oh everything went dark oh okay this is bad this is bad hold on hold on hold on let's go back here so not not everything went dark, just this area. Or I, I entered some weird area. Oh shoot. This is interesting. Can I walk through this thing? You can see like out of the corner of it or something. Anyway, let's just keep going then. Okay. just go back I don't know I don't know what that dark area was for but I'll just keep going I'm getting more and more lost like further I'm getting in here Okay, this is a dead end. Crap. Whoa. Okay, there's somebody here. It's a uh, hazmat suit dude. Uh, should I interact with him? Oh, take ID. Yeah, let's get your ID so we can get into that room. Which, I still don't know what that room is for. Oh. Oh, shoot. I am, I'm in, in the... Somewhere. I'm still in this room. It just went dark. It just went completely dark. Oh, shoot. It's a dead end. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit unnerved here. Because <laughs> this is pretty... Like, just complete d like darkness. You just have to use your flashlight. Just like most horror games. And that makes it creepier, because you gotta use your flashlight. Oh boy. I'm starting to get claustro claustrophobia. I'm really lost in the back rooms. Help. Actually, no one's gonna help me. I gotta help myself. Oh shoot, dead end. Crap. Are these dead ends? Yeah, being in here, I'll, I will say it really gets your heart rate up. And we're back. Yes. Okay, I'm in this area. Which, uh, what is this? Got some... Oh! Oh boy. What do I do here? Like... Oh. Try to open these things. What? Good try... Yeah, I'm pressing E. I'm trying, I'm trying to open it. Just to try to open briefcase. Yeah, I'm trying. What's in the briefcase? What's in the box? Yo, can I close the door? Can I lock it off? Still? Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I triggered some alarm. Like, what am I supposed to be doing here? This is fucked. Try to open the face. I'm trying. It's 
I'm trying to open the briefcase and it's not open. How do I lock off the alarm? Lock it off, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the back room still. This is mad. Alright, let's go out. I don't know why in the world I want to go out. I don't, but I guess. Oh, I just. Oh! Alright, so I got all the stuff. Hopefully this time I'll be able to succeed pretty much. The strat is just to hug the left wall of this uh, this path. And then I should be able to get there. But it's uh, it's really hard. So let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. We're going, we're going. We're going, we're going. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hugging the left wall. This thing is gaining. There we go. There we go. This thing is freaking gaining, bro. Go this way. Damn, this shit's close, bro. God damn. E -e -e. Boom. Boom shakalaka. That was hard. That was hard. Oh boy. So now, evidently, there should be a way for me to get out of here. It's also known as ending number three. So we'll see about that. But but, the, but that on its own, that part on its own was uh, pretty damn hard. I'm not going to lie. Pretty damn hard. So evidently now there's supposed to be some kind of gate here that I'm gonna need to open potentially. Yeah, the back room's very difficult to navigate because of the fact that everything looks the same, so you can't really draw, like, or disremember, like, boundaries or, like, where you've been before because everything's literally the same looking. I got my lights still on. Oh, shoot. Did y'all hear that? Okay, I'm not going in that room. I have a bad feeling about that one. Oh shoot, what is this? Some kind of chair. Oh, uh, key. Okay. What's this key for? Let me go back and look around for a gates, because I'm pretty sure this footage, or this game was specifically made to be similar to that um, video made by uh, Kane Pixels on YouTube, which is a very good series of videos, by the way. Highly recommend that one. The guy who made it is a master at making, uh, like... Films, I don't know, film. He's good at making stuff, basically. I'm probably going to link the videos that I'm talking about on my, to this video when it comes out too. Just because it's good. Anyway, I'm going to go back because I want to see what's on the other side of where we came in from. Because I feel like that area we found is not going to be healthy for us for me because I'm the one stuck here in the back rooms back rooms are a very dangerous place it might seem like there's nothing here but there's these weird old creatures running around and they'll get you they will rape your booty hole. 
So yeah, that's where we came in from. Okay, so I don't remember if I went to the. Did I go here originally? No, no, no. I think that might be the only way to go potentially, but I'll, I'm gonna have to double check because I'm trying to be super careful because I uh, going back and replaying this again is is not a very fun and easy task. Okay, this key that I got is not for this gate. I did get a key of some kind. Maybe this is a key to the uh, briefcase. So that means we have to go back. Which I very much don't want to go back. But it looks like I'm going to have to go back. Screw it. Let's do it. Okay. I'm back in the back rooms. Again. The ones that I specifically avoided so here I don't know what the format is of going back because uh, uh, I know you're supposed to hug the right wall on the way back but uh, I don't remember which way I took to get here so I guess we'll just find out it's okay hopefully we don't have to I don't have to run away again because that is gonna suck big balls okay hug the right side and I got this so yeah, I'm pretty sure that key I got is for the briefcase, which who knows what it has inside. We'll find out in a moment here. But yeah, even though it's really hard to navigate the back rooms, I still kind of like got some patterns down, like hugging the this wall. It's not too bad. All right, let's go back and uh, see if we can interact. Yes, sir. Key. So this key, I'm pretty sure, is going to be now for the uh, uh, other place, for the other gate. And then wherever that's going to take me, we'll find out. But damn, I have to say, this game is hard. Probably one of the more difficult horror games I've played in a while. Probably since, um, what's that one called? I played uh, the Sonic one. Executable education that one was also very challenging, but this one, the just because it doesn't save, is making it very difficult. So, if it saved, that would have been much, much better. But you know, also the fact that it doesn't save makes it a little bit more like nerve wracking, which adds to the effect of the horror, the horror itself. So, I see that strategy. Okay, let's go back to the gate now, which is to the left here, I believe. And see if I'm able to just finish this damn game. Yes, sir. Let's go. Oh, I can't move. This is a cutscene. We've got some uh, hazmat suit dudes chatting. Okay. So, yeah, that is it for this game. That is how you beat it. It is very hard to beat because, again, just the nature of it, the way that it was made with no save points. But that's it for the video. This game was very well made. Very nice style to it accurately nails the idea of liminal spaces back rooms very cool and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time stay safe because you might fall through the world and then end up in the back rooms and then good luck at least this video will now show you how to survive in the back rooms i hope mm -hmm.